gonna be a video on my 1978 Kawasaki KZ-1000 that uh, I think I'm gonna be putting into storage in my basement because honestly, she's just going, she's rotting away out here. Like when I got this bike probably about 10 years ago or so, there was no corrosion or rust on any of these fasteners and sitting out in the carport, well, she's uh, looking kind of rough. So today I'm gonna fire it up and take it for a little ride. And then I think I'm gonna try to get it down in the basement. But you see with the hot, cold, as, as the temperature swings occur, the cases sweat get humidity on them, moisture, and they really just get pretty corroded over time. So uh, it's not good to let them sit outside. Uh, tank always had some rust here, but I had coated that with grease many years ago, and that uh, kind of kept that good uh, intake. Well, let me pull this thing out of here. Let's do a quick walk around on her first. I paid $900 for this bike when I originally got it, and I did end up putting the LTD seat on it too. This is actually a KZ-1000A model, I believe, if I could be mistaken on that. But if I remember right, uh, let's see. So it's got the Vanton Hines 4 to 1 on it. Remember, I had to put that little tack weld on this because no matter what, how tight you made that, it was still a little bit loose. Got the K&N pod filters. This is a factory side cover on it, although it's missing the badge. I think I have one in the garage. Uh, yeah, otherwise, you know, the single disc front wheels. I love the spoke spoke rims on them. I did add this off of an H1, Kawasaki H1, and just kind of welded that little uh, bracket on the frame. So the steering stabilizer. Uh, otherwise, yeah, she's pretty standard. This is an aftermarket side cover because the darn, darn thing blew off on the highway once down in Philly. I used to bring this down to the city all the time and, and be drag racing and stuff and just having fun with it nothing too crazy uh i did take the mirrors off i remember oh yeah and that's right this is a uh, master cylinder off of a gsxr 1000 on here so she's not all factory but these these are much nicer than the the ones that come on these and she's only got 10,000 miles on it Let's see if the oh, battery's even still got some charge you really got to ride one of these kz 1000s to appreciate them because there's just something to be said about having this big old two valve 1000 cc in line four in a tubular steel frame or chassis when you're taking turns and you're going fast you can feel this motorcycle flexing and the dual rear, sh rear shocks are not helping the handling uh it's just it's it's quite the ride give her a little shot of ether and see if it fires up Too. I think uh, we get a touch of oil 
now the valve cover too. If this bike was all shiny, it's not as cool as it is right here. Like once it gets the patina on there, a little corrosion, ripped original graphics and rust on the tank, that's what really makes this bike look cool in my opinion. Although it's at the point where, you know, any more is maybe too much. Woo, she's hot. Oh, like especially when you start getting hitting on the forks and then they're leaking oil and all that. It's no fun, you know? Just low, losing money. Ride them, don't hide them, right? Well, that's what she's been doing for the last, oh heck, uh, what's that, 40 some odd years? 42 years? I guess we gotta do at least one quick burnout, right? It's pretty, pretty grippy here. It's like really coarse, but we'll try it anyway. <laughs> I think I've changed my mind. She has earned a spot in the garage and with spring around the corner, I think I'm gonna uh, do some more riding. And I think I'm gonna jump on Craigslist Facebook and see if I can't find a cleaner one to throw down in the basement too. But let me show you where she was gonna live. So it's not super ideal, but I do have a walkout and I use this two by eight with a pallet and it's, it's, it's very steep. And I did manage to get my three wheeler, my TS-185 and a moped which was in a previous video. So this has been a video on the 1978 Kawasaki KZ1000. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop it a thumbs up or any feedback down below if you did. Appreciate that. Or if you didn't, drop that feedback too. Uh, consider checking out the channel or subscribing if you're new. And thanks a lot for watching. KZ Guy 2 here. No nonsense, no how. I'll see you. I said we forgot to put the antennas up on the car though. When you're doing the mesh on the car though, you're supposed to put that little antenna up on the top. It helps oh, out yeah. with the ring with the range, you know. There it goes. Yeah, now it's much better, see? Yeah. No, the cardos are badass. What I was telling you too is your blinker's on. That's oh, the other yeah. cool thing about having a Fincardo is you can tell people to turn their blinker off. It drives me crazy when I'm yeah, riding around. Yeah, I, you know, I do forget my blinker sometimes. I do it all the time, but it's nice when you can, like, tell each other, yo, your blinker's on. Because we all forget it, but I, I, for some reason I have the worst pet peeve with that, man. I remember seeing this guy's KLR650 at, at uh, East Coast, and he had the indicator right boop, boop, like when it was on. And oh, I, shit. I was like, yeah, that's kind of smart, actually, because then you can't forget it. Yeah, yeah, annoying, but definitely, you know, you're not going to forget it.